Hello and welcome back to White Lines Football. Lewis again here today, back for the next Gillingham video of the season. And tonight we go to Priestfield in the Checker Trade Trophy. Now, firstly, I'd like to um, apologise for the likes. Obviously, it's a night game, but we're facing Oxford, uh, Oxford United. My third visit to Priestfield in four days. The game against Carlisle at the weekend. The Gabriel Zakawani interview um, yesterday, and then today we have the game against Oxford. So. Both teams named, named quite strong sides. Oxford gone with the likes of John Mazzino, ex Gilles, of course, the captain in the side tonight. Jack Payne, we know all about him from the away trip, where we lost 3-0. Uh, video to that on the channel. And then Gillingham have gone with a strong side as well. Uh, Stuart Nelson's in goal. Um, original thoughts, I was thinking three at the back. Maybe it's a four at the back of Alex Lacey at right back. But um, the way I originally saw it was Nelson in goal. And then a back three of Alex Lacey, Max Amar, Ben Nugent, Sean Clare, right wing back. Um, Connor Ogilvy left wing back Mark Burns sitting with Wagstaff and Martin in front and then uh, Connor Wilkinson and Josh Parker up top that could easily be Wagstaff at right wing back with Claire in midfield it could easily be a 4-4-2 with Aimer in midfield and Claire at right back it could be Lacey at right back it's hard to tell at the minute but yeah it's nice to see a strong side we've got the likes of Tom Eaves Aaron Simpson on the bench which is good yeah it's going to be a cold one tonight it's the first knockout round of the Trick Trade Trophy so obviously we won the group um, rounding that off of a Incredible 7-5 victory against Reading uh, under 21s. You saw that on the channel as well. And hopefully we can get into the next round tonight. It'll be nice to go as far as we possibly can. Maybe end up with a cheeky trip to Wembley in the final. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It'll be a tough test tonight. Oxford are a good side, obviously. Like I say, we lost 3-0 away from home there earlier this season. You saw that video. That was under different management. Um, form can change, results can change, teams can change. So we'll see how it goes tonight. It's going to be a tough game. It's probably the toughest draw we could have got after winning the group. But... Like I say, we'll see how it goes. We're really, really close to the stadium now. Come on, you Jules. Boy. On the way then here at Priestfield, Jill's line up with a 3-5-2. Alex Lacey, Max Amor and Ben Nugent at centre-back. Scott Wags from the right, Sean Clare, Mark Burn, oh, Lee Martin and then Josh Parker and Cod Walton up front. Oxford an early shot but I think it's so far. Five minutes on the clock, and Parker does really well to chase a long ball. He twists, he turns on the right, and he shoots, and it's just wide, but it's a good chance from him, and a good bit of promise shown by Parker. Yeah. Penalty steals, Wagstaff does brilliantly, he's taken out, it's a clear penalty. I'm not sure who wants the ball. It's going to be Mark Bowen who's taking the ball. Just see this through. Come on, Mark. Yeah! Sends the keeper from way, 1 0, Mark Bowen. Lovely juggling. Wilkerson has gifted the ball as a sideways pass is intercepted one on one. And he has a very, very poor touch and runs for his keeper. Great opportunity for him, but Jill's definitely on top here so far. The three in midfield are rotating quite a lot. Uh, looks like Sean Clare's playing deeper to the three, obviously, he's in his defensive duties a lot this season, playing at right back and right wing back. But yeah, he's playing the deeper of the three at the minute. Um, sometimes it looks like a two and a one, sometimes it looks like a one and a two. But yeah, good fluidity between the three. Wagstaff and Martin link up well on the right, and Wagstaff squares it to Parker, who fakes shots around the defender, but another time he gets back to block. A couple of good chances for Parker now. Oxford forwards play through, but Nelson comes out and stands strong. Not put a foot wrong today, Nelson. Goes to a corner, it's eventually cleared, but Gillingham losing the first ball from corners a lot today, need to be winning that. It's 1 0, and it's really poor bit of defending by Jules. They dilly dally down the right for a very, very long time. There are passes made, it all comes from losing the first header from a corner again, and Jules don't ever clear. There's a lot of passes, and then. Eventually the ball is curled into the corner and it's one off. So it is half time here at Preston Stadium. It is drilling on one, Oxford United one. Now we started off really well, the pressing was good, we looked defensively solid, but the game died down, Oxford got in the ball. Uh, Jack Payne in particular, really, really good on the ball. Uh, just seen the class above, doesn't he? I'm really surprised how to still let him drop this low down online. Just had okay, but elapsed in concentration really cost us. Um, the pressing has died down, Wilkinson. He's been really, really poor so far, but yeah, he's been trying. Um, 
He's had a couple of chances go through in on goal, but it's not come. Burned him really, really well for penalty. I knew he'd score as soon as he picked the ball up, to be honest. Uh, Wags did well to win it as well. But yeah, Oxford on the ball well. Um, it's quite an open game so far. Good game to watch. Try some quality. But yeah, if it's a draw full time, we will go to penalties. So half time here, drilling on one, Oxford one. Second half's underway there, I don't know what that kickoff was about. Um, yeah, it got retaken, there's this change of half time. Tom Eves is on for Conor Wilkinson, who had a little niggle. Um, probably better to be taken, sorry, but yeah. Probably our best striker on the pitch now, so we'll see how he can do. Ogilvy and Marston did really, really well down the left, they win the ball back, the cross is in, Eves can't get to it. And it falls for Parker, he heads it just wide. Jill's best chance of the half so far. Both teams going for this half, but no real chances for note so far. Greg Connell's coming on now for Lee Martin, he's had a good game. Probably going to be in a change of shape for the Jills. Um, we'll see how they come out of now, probably one up top, Eves on his own. We'll see how it goes. It's looking like quite a fluid 3-4-3 uh, three three now with Parker and Connell just off Eves. Um, we're moving about quite a lot, but still with the three of the hats. And uh, yeah, about 63 minutes gone, it's still one all. Great corner routine from Jules. It's drilled along the box to Eves. It's a good save from the keeper. Rebounds out to Max Same will be heading to the That is Jules' best chance for half. 17 minutes gone, 20 minutes remain. Controversy here as Parker hits a shot. It's gone in, surely. It's given a corner off the defender headed out, but it looked like it went in. Boom! Obviously, you don't have goal line technology at this level, so you can't tell for sure, but it definitely looked like it went in from from where I was, maybe a bit of bias coming out there, but it looked like it went into me. And it results in Jill's corner. Very unfortunate for Parker. Julian, I'm streaming this game live on I Follow, and um, I've just seen a video on Twitter. Uh, slow motion. And a ball! Oh! That's a kick to the face! It's the yellow, but yeah, as I was saying, the ball's gone in. The ball's gone over the line. So, so frustrating because she should be winning. Sean Clare's come off, Darren Oldacre's has come on. Um, it's now midfield three of Greg Condal, Mark Byrne and Darren Oldacre. Uh, come straight on for a free kick. Probably a crossing position, but it's lined up to shoot and he has, and it's gone wide, it's a bit of a waste. But 77 minutes gone, we should be 2-1 up by the looks of things, but it still remains 1-0. Oldacre plays a lovely ball over the top, but Josh Parker is called offside after being played through 1-1. One -on -one. About five minutes away from full time now. And then it'll go to penalties. <laughs> Oxford just got a screamer in the 91st minute and that probably sees the game. Three minutes added on, no penalties for us. We're out of the cup and that is a cue for a lot of people to leave. Unfortunate because I was looking forward to penalties but I guess it wasn't to me. Let's go, go in! One last chance! One last chance! Oh, 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 disappointing. Many things to discuss about that one, I think. So, that is the end of the game, and I don't know, I was looking forward to penalties. Um, it's a pretty even game. Too fair. Jill's probably shaded it. A lot better performance than we saw against Oxford away earlier this season. Um, obviously, two different sides under different managers. Parker's shot has gone in. It's really gone in. Um, it's a shame because that goes in 2-1. Um, you're on top of the game. You know, Then if it goes to 2-1, you've still got penalties and chance going through. So, obviously, we don't have technology at this level. It's hard for the referee and linesman to spot. I'm sure they can't give it if they're not certain. I mean, you'd hope that the linesman would see it considering that's part of his job, but obviously he hasn't. Yeah, all, overall though, it's okay. We do need a bit more creativity. Uh, defensively, we're more solid. Nelson put in a much improved perform, much more improved performance than, than he did against Redden earlier on. Uh, the back three today, I thought Ben Nugent was really, really good uh, in terms of the physical side. Um, he's a very, very head-kick-it defender, and uh, he's not going to play the balls around on the floor, but you know what you're going to get for him. He's just going to clear everything. Max Aimer again and Alex Lacey, both solid. Nicely Lacey back in the team. We've now got our four senior centre-backs fit and raring to go again. Scott Wagstaff on the right wing back. Um, he did well with a lot of link up in the first half as well. Probably could have got a few more crosses into the box second half, but first half in particular is really, really good. Coming back well defensively as well. Connor Ogilvie again, you know, I'm not sure what he offers. Um, I've had some stick for saying it on Twitter, but I don't think it's great defensively. I don't think it's great going forward either. Uh, but yeah, he, he played left wing back today. Mark Burns really, really good. Um, 
probably would have been my man of the match all over the place winning those tackles. Um, doing the job the holding midfield has got to do, I suppose. He was partnered by Sean Clare, who calls himself Sean Flair, and I think he lived up to that today. Some really nice turns and flicks. Uh, he went off later on in the game. Lee Martin also went off, but he was really, really good as well. It's nice to see him, him fit um, after that knock to the face. And then up front, Josh Park was given man of the match, match at the stadium. I can see why he put a lot of effort in today. Uh, probably made the wrong decision at the time. Should have had his goal, of course, but yeah, he did a good, solid performance today. And Connor Wilkinson struggled first half. A couple of touches that, for some reason, um, he didn't take his chances because he took too many touches and then went off injured, but hopefully that's only a precaution. And then Tommy's came on, didn't get a chance to offer much. Greg Hundle came on, played in midfield. A few good touches from him, sort of 6 out of 10. And then Darren Oldacre with probably the worst cameo performance I've ever seen. All the set pieces he took went wrong and hit the first man some passes went out of play but you know he didn't have didn't have much time to show what he's got so yeah it's disappointing our second defeat under Steve Lovell home form is still really really poor got to look to improve um, hope for some reinforcements in January when the time comes and obviously good luck to what for Oxford in the rest of the competition uh, they've got some good fans nice bunch of lads so if you did enjoy the video um, please remember to like subscribe follow everything in the description check out all the other videos uh Check out League One Podcast, check out Nathan, uh, check out Wildlands Cricket, Wildlands F1, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.